Hello and welcome back. I want to take a moment to talk to you about Geographic Information Systems, GIS, and one of its software is QGIS or Quantum GIS. GIS is an exciting and powerful tool that allows us to visualize, analyze, and interpret spatial data. GIS can be applied in a wide range of fields, from urban planning to environmental management to public health and can be helping in better understanding the world around us. However, learning JS can seem intimidating at first. It involves learning new software, data analysis techniques, and spatial thinking. But don't let that discourage you. With persistence and dedication, you can master JS and use it to unlock insights that can make a real difference. This is my case. This is my experience in learning JS. One of the great things about JS is that it is a constantly evolving field. New software, data sources, and analysis techniques are being developed all the time, every time. Which means that there are always new challenges to tackle and opportunities to learn. Whether you are just starting out or have been working with JS for years, there is always something new to discover. So if you are thinking about learning JS, I encourage you to take the plunge. Don't be afraid to make mistakes or ask for help, especially when you need it. Embrace the challenges and enjoy the journey. With JS, you can unlock a world of possibilities and make a real impact in the world. What you are waiting for then? Get together, we can learn, grow, and create a better future. In this video, I've included a couple of examples on how to insert a shapefile from any publicly available spatial data and how you can insert that in QJS. Do a quick analysis, visualization with the use of Google Earth uh, background, and then do a quick printout of the map uh, to a PDF. So, I hope you will learn something from this. And if you haven't heard of QJS before, it is a free and open source um, geographic information system software that allows you to create stunning visualizations of spatial data. And in this second video, I'm showing the different background of Google uh, Earth. Um, you can select between them um, and have them uh, as a visualization to your map. Second thing is animated maps are incredibly powerful tool that can help you communicate complex data in a way that is engaging and easy to understand. They allow you to visualize changes over time or display patterns in a dynamic and interactive way. Um, but creating animated maps with QJS is not just about making pretty uh, visuals. It's about making a real impact. Animated maps can help you convey important information to decision makers, stakeholders, or even the public in a way that is compelling and persuasive. They can help you identify patterns and trends that might otherwise be hidden. They can help you make more informed decisions. And the best part in QJS, it's easy and fun with a few clicks. So it is a powerful tool. But how about if I tell you that you can go to a next level with the QJS using the help of a chat GPT? ChatGPT is a large language model trained by OpenAI that is designed to answer questions and provide support on a wide range of topics, including JS and the QJS. So if you want to take your QJS skills to the next level and become a more proficient JS analyst, uh, I would encourage you to use ChatGPT alongside QJS. It's an 
invaluable resource that can help you solve problems, learn new techniques, and stay up to date with the latest trends and developments in the field. I've included two examples for you in how I've used ChatGPT um, to generate Python codes. The first example to measure a short, the shortest distance between uh, a point layer and a line uh, layer. And I've, ha I've asked it to include a new field called SHDist to store the distance measured. In the second example, uh, I've asked ChatGPT to generate a Python code that would create a line layer to connect points in a point layer. In particular, I have asked for the connection to be based on the ascending order of the point ID in the point layer. So it will connect a line from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, etc. So ChatGPT responded to me, as you can see, with uh, a Python code. Um, and even some instructions how I can use that Python code in QJS. So what I've done is simply followed the instructions, copied the code, uh, went back to QJS, opened the Python console, um, and copied the code there, and just press run. It gave me, at the start, error because I wasn't putting the correct name of the layers, so it should match the layers available in the layer um, panel. Uh, but once I edited that, you can see the lines uh, are generated between the points. It's powerful. So finally, I encourage you to, to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date with the latest videos. Good luck. Happy mapping.